your left a little bit. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. I'm right here in Flower Mound, Texas at our brand new facility. And I just thought, hey, let's just take a minute and actually introduce one of the very special, amazing employees that we have right here at Titans of CNC. So Scott Liancini, dude, you've been in education and machining for a while. Can you actually look at the camera and actually tell them a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Well, Titan, first off, so excited to be here. As an educator, there's no better place I'd rather be than to teach the world about CNC machining. And it's been an incredible journey, me being in Texas. And if I could tell you a little bit about myself and the journey it took for me to get here. Well, I graduated high school and immediately joined the Marine Corps. And uh, not knowing really where my life was gonna go. And um, I ended up doing two tours in Iraq as a combat engineer making great friends and had an incredible experience. Um, but after that, it was time for me to kind of move on. And uh, I did my first enlistment and decided to get out. I was 22 years old, really not knowing what I was gonna do with my life, but I had all this, all this vigor and all this experience being deployed. So I channeled all that into what I thought I wanted to do with my career, which was going into law enforcement. So I chased that dream and during that time, I met my wife and I started a family and I was doing everything right. I, you know, I was going to school, I was going into the security industry and getting more experience. And um, it was during that time and I remember sitting in my patrol car one night and I heard on the radio uh, a news broadcast that a helicopter had crashed off the Florida Panhandle full of Marines. And I knew my friend was in that area and I found out that morning that he was on that helicopter. I really looked up to this guy. He was a Marine Corps special operator and just an incredible individual. And it was that moment that I had a change in perspective. And I realized that with a family that law enforcement may have not been my calling. So I started looking elsewhere and what else am I gonna do? And I'm in this identity crisis. Like I was a Marine, you know, I carried a gun. I did all these cool things, but now I'm a family man. What am I, what am I gonna do? And I knew nothing about manufacturing. And uh, so a good friend of mine that I served in the Marine Corps with, we sat down to celebrate our friend's life that had just passed. And uh, he's like, hey man, there's this really great program in San Diego called Workshops for Warriors and they train veterans in manufacturing for free. And I was like, well, I might give that a shot. So I went, I enrolled, I got in the program, and they taught me everything about the industry, CAD, CAM, mill, and lathe, and uh, I just loved it. I loved the mechanical aspect of it. I loved using computers. I loved solving problems. And I was able to take all that and teach others. So for the next five years, I trained veterans in manufacturing. I trained hundreds of veterans, getting them into the industry, teaching them the basics so that they can be successful when they leave. So an incredible program to everyone at Workshops for Warriors, the students, the staff, the instructors, and the leadership. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I would not be here if it wasn't for you. Scott, we've known each other for years because when I had the TV show, we actually went down to workshops for warriors in San Diego. Amazing program to bring awareness to it and actually met you during that filming and uh, we just hit it off, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of respect between fellow teachers and uh, had a chance meeting one time at the San Diego Zoo. Yeah. And then while I was coming to Texas, you were actually getting ready to move your family also and uh, we just kind of came in alignment. And it worked out. We were already looking to leave California and uh, find a way to do that. And you know, I messaged Titan, um, and he happened to see my message, and uh, we linked up again. And it's just, it's been awesome ever oh. since. You know, one thing that I love about Scott is like his humble nature, right? He's talking about college, but at the same time, you know. Dude, you went back and actually got a master's degree in education while still being a machinist and you put it all together. I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment, man. You've done some amazing things in your life, brother. Yeah, well, thanks. It was not easy. It was a lot of hard work, but um, 
I'm passionate about this industry and I was passionate. Manufacturing changed my life. So I wanted to figure out the best way to reach everyone and how manufacturing can change their life. If they're willing to put the work in and learn the trade. Uh, Titans of CNC, we're gonna take everything to the highest level, free education for you guys, bringing awareness, all that. But you know what, I just wanna take a second and thank you for your service to our country, brother. Thank you. Boom, it is so good, man. Thank you. And uh, to all the veterans out there, thank you for your service and uh, everything we do is for you guys. Free education, Titans of CNC, check it out. And uh, watch my man Scott right here as he teaches on camera. Boom.